The slam scraper comes with two blade options. First, a spring steel attachment blade is ideal for projects on soft, pliable, or uneven surfaces. This blade is great for removal projects, including glued down carpeting, vinyl and acrylic tile, linoleum, asphalt tile, dried mastic, or other adhesives, and pliable floor coverings. The slam scraper comes with the heavy duty fixed blade ready to use. This blade is engineered to withstand tough removal jobs for hard, brittle surfaces. It is ideal for removal projects like ceramic tile, parquet flooring, cement overpour, tar and shingle roofing, ice, tree roots, and sod or garden borders. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to change the blades. First of all, you gotta take your slam scraper, there is screws and a washer on the back. You want to untighten these in order for you to slide the blade behind the washer. Make sure you are able to got enough room to slide it behind the washers. You take your blade, slide it up against the uh, plate, and there is pegs on the back of the plate. You want to make sure they're in the slots and snug up against. You want to make sure this blade gets snug up against the plate actual rigid blade that's actually there. Tighten this down. Now when you're tight, when you're putting on this blade, remember, there's always, there, this blade has got, it's got a bevel down area and it's got a bevel up. Bevel down is when you're working on surfaces like wood surfaces, subfloor, you may be taking carpeting off of there. And also when you do have it the other way around, which is uh, the blade, the uh, bevel up, you're working on cement, maybe uh, concrete slab floor and carpeting may be on that, or it might be linoleum, and it slides very good and can cut through the surfaces. Please remember, when you get through with this project, to take, unloosen the screws, because you want to take the blade off. You don't want to leave this laying around with the blade on there, could hurt somebody. Safety is always on our mind. Make sure you get these untight so you can slide the blade off. Then once you're through, tighten the screws down. Make sure they're really tight. Got them tightened down. Now you've got a normal, conventional scraper. You can unloosen this screw and it, become, it gives you a chisel impact feature. This also gives you the uh, muscle power for removal, hard removal jobs and gives, gives it more of a slam hammer action. And when you're doing this, make sure you're using the choppy broom-like effect and, and, all, and all that. So it, it's real easy to use, gives you great impact. When you're through, make sure you just tighten the screw down again. It's, it's gonna, when you're leaving it laying around or whatever, it's not sliding around. Now I wanna compare this to other uh, uh, scrapers that are in the market today. Slam Scraper includes benefits that beat out many heavy-duty scrapers on the market. Let's compare it to this traditional scraper. The heavy-duty conventional scraper stands around four foot tall, while the Slam Scraper is more, a little more over five foot tall. More length provides more leverage and easier use and less strain for the operator. This traditional scraper comes with one four-inch blade compared to the Slam Scraper's two six inch attachment blades and one six inch fixed blade option. The larger blades provide more surface area and can reduce project time. Although this scraper is billed as heavy duty, the slam scraper weighs about two pounds more. The slam scraper also has larger diameter and thickness than the traditional heavy duty scraper. Lastly, 
The Slam Scraper is the premier multi-action use tool on the market today. Most scrapers only have a conventional rigid blade and cannot adapt to different removal project needs.